Namaste everyone. Welcome to the course on Memory Device Technology for AI ML Computing. I am Dr. Shubhadeep from the Electrical Engineering Department at IIT Hyderabad and I will be the course instructor for this course. I work on several theoretical and experimental aspects of low power nano electronic devices and I am happy to share this exciting area of current and future technological development through this course with you all of you. So what is the primary motivation of running this course? It is a recognition of the fact that there has been a remarkable shift in the nature of computing from logic oriented deterministic computing to data driven heuristic AIML like computing. Therefore, while at the device level, few generations earlier, the sole focus was only on improving transistor performance, the current thrust is equally to address memory and storage device technology. However, in the NPTEL platform, while there are a lot of courses focusing on the fundamental and technological aspects of transistors, there aren't any courses for memory device technology, especially in the context of AIML based computing. Therefore, in the first part of the course, we shall take a top down approach, first introducing how recent advances in memory device technology has enabled data driven computing. We begin with the understanding that just like a large matured organization requires a hierarchical setup with a chain of command with the chairman or the director on the top followed by CFOs and CTOs, upper and middle management, engineers and floor workers. Similar is the case with modern day memory systems. So these memory devices are essentially organized in a pyramidal hierarchy structure, keeping in mind their latency and data capacity. Just as in an organization, each person in the particular hierarchy performs a specialized task, similar is the case with memory and storage devices, constituting of SRAMs, DRAMs and NAND flashes, whose operating principles we will be discussing in detail in the following course. We will also see that there is a missing chunk or a gaping hole in the memory hierarchy and how the new class of electronic non-volatile memories are trying to fill this gap. Furthermore, we shall also see how these memory arrays are designed and accessed through the peripheral circuitry. In the next part of the course, we will see that despite the advances in the current computing architecture, it is still unable to meet the extreme demands of AIML based computing. This is primarily because while the current computing systems are built around the von Neumann architecture with spatially separate memory and compute elements, AIML based computing which is running on bio inspired neural networks requires a more tightly bound architecture. This fundamental mismatch between what we have and what we really need causes a large amount of latency and power consumption when we try to force fit the AI algorithms in von Neumann architectures. As we will see in the course for performing the same tasks as a human brain, the Google supercomputing system takes several orders of magnitude higher power and space. So we begin asking the question, what is the solution? So the solution is not just in developing brain inspired algorithms, but also brain inspired hardware on which these algorithms can efficiently run. This is the area of neuromorphic architectures, circuits and devices. And in the final part of the course, we will introduce how the current memory and storage devices that we have studied in the course can be effectively employed to support ne these new computing architectures such as deep and spiking neural networks and also in memory computing. One can go and have a thorough detailed look at the course contents on the website or in the first lecture slide. So who are the participants who are expected to enjoy and benefit from this course? I believe BTEC students in EE and EC in their final and pre-final years, the masters and PhD students in microelectronics and VLSI will definitely benefit from this course. Though I have heard feedback from my students that this course helps in appearing for placements in microelectronics in VLSI related companies, this course will also benefit research oriented students who want to work on this exciting area of memory and neuromorphic device technology. However, 
I would expect students to have some basic background on semiconductor devices and analog circuits to really appreciate the deeper technical aspects of this course. Finally, I also expect working professionals in semiconductor companies who would like a more holistic perspective on memory technologies to definitely enjoy this course. Looking forward to interacting with all of you through this course. Thank you very much.